Doing your references is an integral part of your research paper, but there are some mistakes that will cause you to lose your credibility. Hi, this is Dr. Jia, and today I'm going to talk about the three mistakes you must avoid when doing your references. Number one, citing from secondary sources instead of primary sources. Two, not reading the original article to verify the information. And three, self-plagiarizing. Mistake number one, citing from secondary sources instead of primary sources. This is particularly important when you are looking for raw data or certain statistics. Let me break down the difference between a primary source versus a secondary source. Primary source is the original article that provides the data, that provides the research evidence. Then the secondary source are like narrative review articles, websites, blog articles, where the authors have looked through their literature, synthesized other people's paper, and write about that topic. The mistake that I often see is that the authors look at the narrative review and take that data from the narrative review. What you can do is if you find a statistics or some epidemiology data from a narrative review paper, look at the paper's reference to find the original article. The next question is, can you ever cite a narrative review paper then? The short answer is yes, only if you're citing the author's original opinion because now the information actually comes from the original author. And so it's no longer a secondary source, but a primary source. Mistake number two, not reading the original article to verify the information. This links to mistake number one. So now you have found the statistics and you look at the reference list to find the original source of data. But make sure you do your due diligence and read the original paper to make sure number one, if the data is accurate, Number two, to make sure if the interpretation is accurate. Because as a researcher, you have the responsibility to do proper vetting. If you like this video so far, give me a thumbs up. Mistake number three, self-plagiarizing. This happens when you recycle or copy your previous work into your current work. And you may think since you wrote it, it should be okay, right? So there are actually two different types of plagiarism. The one we hear about often is stealing other people's work as if it's ours or not giving credit when credit is due. But another form of plagiarism is to commit literary theft. That is presenting old work as if it's new. So if you are referencing a method that you used before, you should reference your old paper. There's also another mistake here. Sometimes just because you include the reference, but you copy it word for word, that still counts as plagiarism. So make sure you paraphrase. Paraphrasing is a skill all researchers need, but not a skill that comes easily for most people. So be sure to watch the next video where I'm going to guide you the simple steps to paraphrasing. I'll see you there.